Hey everyone, welcome to Automotive Diagnosis YouTube channel. I'm getting misfire on this engine and when I check the ignition cores on ignition core number one, see what I found. Okay, there's a small mess here, which is gonna cause short on, on the wiring. And as you see, uh, and as you see the connector itself, it doesn't have any lock. If I pull it out, it's gonna come off. So the connector locking, the connector locking tab is already broken as well. So what I do, maybe, uh, maybe you guys suggest to just use the electrical tape. But I, uh, but I really rather to fix it properly. So I'm gonna remove the pins from this connector. Uh, I'm gonna fix this one using the heat shrink, and I will replace the connector with a new one, with the one that has the. Uh, locking tab to keep it secure on the ignition core. All right, let's start. Let's start removing the connector first. Uh, so you can use the small screwdriver, this kind of precision screwdrivers. Uh, I do have the pin removal tools as well. So you can use the pin removal tools. Just grab the best one, which in this case is, this one is the best match. So if you look at the connector itself there is a really small tab in here holding the pin inside the connector so I'm gonna hold the wire from the back and when I release the locking tab just like this okay all good all done I just removed the first one and just to make sure that everything is okay you have only two wires so you just need to make sure when you put the wires back on, you put it on the proper place. So this is my other connector, which is already okay. So I'm gonna replace this one. And a second wire, I do the same thing. I release the locking tab and I just tweak this one out from the back. You see, this was the old connector, which already removed. All right, I already removed the wires. And for fixing this one, as I told you, I'm not gonna use the electrical tape. I'm gonna use the heat shrink. So I slide the heat shrink from here over the wire, just to cover the damaged area. And I use the heat gun to shrink it. Right, you see, nice and secure. So that's it. So what I will do, I try to put these ones back in the new connector, which is this one. This is my new connector. So first of all, I have a tab in here, just like this. And then I need to put the pins back on and you need to just take care about the direction. All right, first one is done. And the second one, push it in on this until you hear the click sound. So now it's time to put this little yellow protector in and all good. So see, the connector is replaced, wire is, uh, wire is repaired as well, so nothing wrong. I just need to put this one back in and all, Good to go.